I've been working for GEM as a senior monitor. I monitor the whole South uh, ECDs, which they fall under GEM. So every day I do unannounced monitoring. So I arrive in the crash or ECD. I monitor close to six to seven uh, ECDs, checking whether the things are okay. Are the bowel clean? Uh, are the children eating the porridge? Is the garden being maintained? Are the children happy? Is the progress in children? Uh, are the principal experiencing problems? That's what I do. I know we live in South Africa, so people think that we're not really in need and um, is the porridge working, but we get to see it and it really does work. And I always try and invite everyone to come in and actually see the work that we do. I think the work that JAM does is absolutely essential. I think uh, for the future of the children and for the future of our country, uh, there is just such a need for, uh, for nutrition uh, and everything in terms of a child's development pivots on having those full tummies and that ability to grow well. My part is to train them, to monitor them, to give them that uh, moral support and to give them that uh, technical advice. As I know them, that uh, they know nothing about planting. When I train them how to plant, how to grow their crops, how to maintain them, that's the most important thing in my job. As you can see now, there was nothing here before. But after I train them and give it uh, technical advice, so they start to plant and grow their own crops. In an area like Emalacheni, where the water is so scarce and irregular, if I may appeal, we really need support um, for people to come in and actually help us. Even if it's just to provide hippo rollers or jojo tanks or even drill a borehole for them. I, I think they'll greatly appreciate it. So things like water, especially for the toilets and for children to wash their hands, it's a serious need to actually look at the child holistically. We are really reaching out to the, the people that are in need and we are making a difference in the lives of children and uh, the community at large because those children belong to the community so it's very important that they get the basic and the good basics that we are providing to, to them as GEM. GEM is not just one of these organizations that say they do things and they, they don't. GEM is one of the organizations that really deliver, that really goes to, you know, the, the rural areas, the outskirts of the communities and, and, and reach out. It's not just those organizations that see to it that, you, you know, you target people that are close by to, to urban areas. They go deeper into the communities. They, they interact with people. They get to know real people and they change lives. I like jam porridge for my child because it's good. She make her very active and learning right at scratch. In the area where we are working in Limpopo, it's one of the uh, it's one of the areas that are, are poverty stricken. So I'm really happy to, to work in those kinds of areas to make sure that the kids get nutritious meals. That's what inspires, that's what makes me to work, to wake up in the morning and say that I'm going to work. To be honest, what I see going in these areas is, is honestly shocking. Um, I can't believe that children who are still using pit latrines as toilets, uh, there's still no hand uh, washing facility. So the need is still very great. Uh, we still have a long way to go. And that's what I'm actually passionate about, seeing that and trying to actually strive to address things like that. So for me to still be seeing that, honestly, I, it's, yeah, it's tremendous for me.